Rendira. Hey, congratulations for Matrix Resurrection. Thank you so much, Gig. It's nice to meet you virtually. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's almost like we were already part of this matrix or whatever this, this is. Exactly. <laughs> it's nice to see you in the matrix. Hope to see you in the real world one day. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. So how, how does it feel being part of this fantastic franchise? I mean, it's such an iconic franchise for so many years. Oh, it's overwhelming. I feel every day I wake up with uh, my heart and soul just saying, thank you, universe. Thank you, Lana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude and love is all I can feel. And a, a bit anxiety because I'm so ready for everyone to see this movie and to like really enjoy it. I think it's um, it's something we need right now. We need a movie that talks about reality with love and that gives us another reason to wake up in the morning and not just give up on the world as we know it. Now, one of the things that a lot of people will realize is that you play Lexi, who is such an incredible badass. Uh, tell, tell us about the preparation for that role. Well, the preparation was a lot of fun. We got to train with the best of the best, which is 8711 stunt crew and Jonathan Eusebio. Um, Mickey Facinelli, the stunt that helped me, was one of the best stunts in the world. So I got to basically sit like a little sponge and just take it all in. I got to work with the best armors in the world. I got to play the safest gunplay in the industry. I was protected and cared for every single step of the way. And it's something that I, I know for a fact Lexi couldn't exist if I didn't have the trainers, the stunts, and the armors that I had around me. So I'm thankful for Rock, Chris, and everyone that, you know, took care of us so much because we really wanted to make an extremely insane, beautiful film. And I think that it was a team effort. This was all about family. You know what? You look like you had a lot of fun. <laughs> production i mean to, I to, be tra to be transported in that world was, was it just amazing to see you know all the sets and all the actors and everybody else i was in shock every day jess henwick and i would take like little runs around the set to see what was happening and we were just like dude pinch me this is like real like <laughs> It's it's so beautiful to see the work, the creativity, and the magic of so many people invested in to create this universe. And wherever you turned your head, you saw you were immersed in it. And it was it, it's I can't wait for people to see it because the care and the detail is what takes things to the next level. And this was cared to the minimal detail. Everything is cared for. Now, one last thing before. Uh before I depart out of this matrix is you got to tell me how long did it take for you, for them to come up with that look? Of you? <laughs> your, your, your look is, is great. I mean, you, you look great both in the matrix and in, in, in it and out of it. <laughs> oh, thank you. I mean, we worked with the best of the best and it took about six hours to do my hair. So I'd keep it in approximately 10 to 15 days, depending on what we were shooting. If I had some time off, I'd get to take it out. My tattoos, I'd love to keep them on because that's like my dream, being all tattooed. So I, I enjoyed that a lot more than the hair probably. <laughs> but um, it was it was really... It, it was quite clear what she wanted, what Lana wanted, and we just kind of worked to find the right tone, the right look, and it came out seamlessly because of the team that we worked with and um, and because Lana is so clear and in, into what she wants. So I'm stoked to see it. I think Lexi looks amazing, and I'm just I'm just so happy I was able to live in her skin for a while. Most excellent. Well, hopefully we will see you in the real world someday. I would love that. Take care, Gig. Thank you. Thank you.